right, we got some breaking news here. Actually, I don't do these breaking news things, but when it's biblical prophecy, it's Minister Paul coming to you from Northern California, 5.17 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on 9-11. I told my wife last night, I said, I wasn't worried about 4th of July. I wasn't worried about the Olympics. I wasn't worried about all of these things that uh, other people, a uh, matter of fact, I'm not worried about anything. I, I don't operate in fear. But I'm just not buying into a lot of this hype that others are, you know, three days of darkness and three days and, you know, we're, that we're going to lose, the sun won't shine. I just, uh, what I'm looking at is is what God shows me and not man. And, and God gave me a dream. Just follow me on this. That a vision, Obama won the election and it was the beginning of the end. Back on 7-18-2012, I want everybody to go watch this dream. Earthquake, war, jet crashing, uh, number 111 and 73. And then if you go to the seventh video in my dream section, look at this. My dream from May of 2012. These dreams go all the way back to January. Iran was being bombed via NATO joint operation, Syria, Turkey, USA, Iran. Um, I recently have made a, I'm going to, uh, okay, so 3-7. The, the angel gave me the numbers 3 and 7. I was in the time portal. I'll just show you exactly how this happened. This angel showed me the number 3. I'm thinking Trinity. Does everybody see that? This is the third dream and the seventh dream in the Dream and Prophecy playlist. It's the third and seventh dream, which happens to have three and seven views. Do you get that? 370 views. That's impossible for that to happen. God is calling us saints. So someone, uh, God bless her, on uh, one of my videos. Um, those are just comments. I'm going to give credit where credit is due. I've made so many videos. Right here, Lise Lark. She said, is this an act of war? And she sent me a link. And I, uh, I was actually making a video uh, of comic relief because 9-11 is such a stressful day for many people, especially people who work in you know, stressful lines of work and they remember where they were that day. It can be stressful. Well... This is very serious because, you know, if we had a real president that's been a real leader, this is just my personal opinion under the First Amendment right. Um, I won't be voting for him. I don't believe he's been a good leader. And um, I believe that I'm, I, I'm able to allowed to say that under the First Amendment right. I'm just an innocent man with no record that served my country and served my community for 21 years, which is a seven and a three was called into the ministry officially in 1991 um, which was actually 21 years ago seven times three and uh, this is an armed mob protesting a film uh, they've they've fired shots someone has been killed and just 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 hear me out now and they've pulled down our American flag at our consulate in Libya and put up a black flag and said, and uh, someone's been killed, uh, maybe more, we, we're not sure yet. And I'm not one to hype. Go look at all my videos. I'm not one to hype and, you know, make everything a big sensational thing. I'm all about Jesus and safety and peace and calm. Um, but this is not looking good. And what, so we got, so let's go to Google Earth. Go to Libya. Let's see, we got Syria, we got Iran, we got Israel. Just let's just go in. This is what I do. Didn't we just topple this government and spend a, a, all this money to to not have this happen? Do you, everybody remember it was going to be a a three day no fly zone? Looks like it took me right over the desert. <laughs> show you my Google Earth skills that's why I need the Holy Ghost everybody just take this area in and uh, and and get ready 
get ready that's my wife so get ready that's all I hear the Lord saying is get ready and um, I mean get ready for World War three I'm not playing anymore I'm not softening the message this uh, let me show you one more thing before I go because everything I do I do for God here's where Obama stands on helping Israel they're in a feud They've de they, the White House has declined Netanyahu's request to meet with Obama because his schedule's fuel. Instead, he's going on Letterman, and you know what? He's winning in the polls as as the, as it erupts. And you know who was a part of that eruption in Libya was this man right here, this smug, arrogant man. Wait for what? Wait until when? Look what's happening over there. Look what's happening in his city. Wake up. I don't know how many times I got to. I've been saying this since April. As a matter of fact, uh, October of last year. Wake up. We are being deceived. They're taking us right into World War Three and martial law. The entire uh, area of Southern California smells like sulfur. And they're saying it's dead fish. We're being rocked by earthquakes. They're setting up martial law. Violence and mayhem and murder is at an all-time high. Jesus is coming. 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 And you know what's going to happen? World War III. Uh, so anyway, something very weird. This is out live right now. Peace, man. Stay safe. Pray. The best thing you can do is pray. Pray pray that your fight not be a winner. Or on the Sabbath, Jesus said, because we are in it. I don't know how much more in it we need to be for people to understand. Amen. <laughs>